This is how it looks inside the box, all the items before they are removed and built. This is Playmobil and this is yet another brilliant set by Playmobil from the year 2022. It just came out a few months ago. Whoops, someone fell down. This is set 70807, Bat Fairy Ruins. You do get an awesome looking Bat Fairy. You also get a Warrior Fairy. You get the Bat Fairy with her little dinosaur and then warrior fairy with her war pig beautifully aesthetic full of accessories it's really nice to look at it because it has so many details it's not so bad on this side writings hieroglyphs and some stars star formation that it has some meaning these are also known as nordic runes the runes are right here here's a closer and better look at the drawings i guess if you turn this this way Look at that, it connects. And down here, I, I, I'm not aware of this is, it looks Japanese. From the inside of the little ruin tower here is that you can hang your bat fairy upside down so she can go to sleep. That's how they sleep on the chandelabra. If you turn to page 33, there is Ayuma. That is the main tower, the awesome looking Bat Fairy Ruins. Set 70807. It is being reviewed right now. There's a lot you can do with this set. Starting right here on this side, there are several little gems. Look at that. Crystals, whatever you want to call it. And rocks. And if you press this button here, they illuminate and if you turn onto this side same thing happening on this side cool thing about this is that you can remove a rock and you find more little rocks lots and lots of little rocks you can get a character to come here and investigate the crystals and once she finds one because it's illuminating maybe she utters some sort of magical power that illuminates the rocks they're like all off like this and you illuminate she retrieved the crystal there is the crystal found a little crystal look at that she's holding it you can put a rock on top of it maybe the crystals transform into a rock and then there's just two other crystals for you to remove okay i went ahead and i removed all the rocks it's really hard to get them out so now if you press the button you can see there's two three four five six holes where you can put crystal well there is a chest right here inside this tower and it's full of little crystals lots of crystals and then you can insert these crystals in here maybe it doesn't have any rocks in there maybe just have crystals so let's just put crystals on every little hole now you have just crystals and they're illuminating all of them i have five crystals left let's do the same thing on this side here there is spacing for two crystals there's this little leaf in here that you can also remove i like the leaf so i'm gonna put the leaf back in let's press the button look of all those crystals illuminated i'm gonna put all the rocks here back into this little and cover with the rock cap let's put the crystals in the crystal chest there's another leaf here that you can remove and put a crystal instead so in total you do end up with one crystal that does not fit in there there is a window on both sides look at my hand on the outside of it and you get two candle candle holders that can illuminate both sides of the little ruins maybe like a large crystal fire or a large crystal fireplace, whatever you want to call it, some sort of a witchcraft. All the other fairies are trying to steal it and make it their own crystal, so she guards this. There's not much to do on this side here, just a little yellow fire, maybe ethereal fire or crystal fire. It is the same yellow as the crystal here from the fire ballista crossbow. So maybe this fairy here found a giant crystal. Bat fairy comes by and like, like, hell no, you're not gonna take my crystal. Points the ballista right on her head and bam, it's over. It's just mechanical. This thing is a plastic thing. This is made for the Playmobil to hold on to. You have to put your two fingers like this, push with a lot of strength to shoot. And I think because there's, it doesn't have a spring to this, it's always going to work years and decades in the future, maybe a hundred years in the future, who knows. So you can put this ballista down here or up there to protect from the top of the tower, it doesn't really matter. On the other side here you have the two torches, also with that strange looking faded yellow fire. It looks like it's some sort of crystal fire. Here's the second floor, you have a little ladder that you can climb up. I just put a fairy going upstairs 
pairs, just as an example. You have a gargoyle, really well detailed, a telescope, so you can see who's approaching. A little foot space for a crow to stand on. There's one also here on this tree, tree branch. There's a cool looking spider, a vine. Look at this vine. You can hang the vine over there, over here. Mine came broken, my little spider web. I had to glue it. That's why you see the little white spot in there. There is a shield, a defense shield that the warrior fairy or leaf fairy, whatever you want to call her, can hold on and use to defend herself or steal it from the ruins. She can also hold the projectile from the crossbow and make that some sort of blunt object. There is the bat fairy up there. If you look around, my favorite thing about these ruins are all the accessories that makes this aesthetic aesthetically beautiful to look at in detail. There are bats hanging on the trees. There's one hanging down here. Look, I can put on this side or maybe on this branch here. Little mold falling off these, which you can put here or here. There's a little mold falling from this branch here where a pointy thing coming out. See that? And the bats that have open wings, they can land on top of those. I also put a hanging bat and a flying bat. If you look here, there's a protrusion right here. Now you can put the spider in there. You can put the bat back here. It's up, up to you to do whatever you want with it. You have all of that stuff at the top. Look at the side here. I have a little vine you can remove or put it back. Overall, it's a really, really cool and detailed, awesome power. All I can say is good luck trying to steal their bats or their crystals because they're packed and there's a lot of bat fairies in here and they're armed and dangerous. These are the two characters. These are the two characters you get with their spirit animals, lizard, dinosaur, and a war pig. She is a blonde looking with dark skin fairy, a warrior fairy. They have, she has wrist cuffs here that are made of elastic. A golden leaf on her belt uh rubbery hair rubber pretty soft a little necklace that's painted on her shirt this skirt is also rubber cool looking golden horns here his mouth does not open but you can remove the golden horn and now it's just a normal pig and when i put it like this now he's like weirdly looking like that or the intended way like that like so this is the bat fairy she has a little bat on her belt as well the belt moves a little bit the skirt is also rubber her hair is is not rubber the wing is kind of rubber it feels like yeah rubber plastic maybe she has a little bow on her hair clothing looks absolutely awesome face pretty cool and then her spirit animal i'm not very happy with it because it's a dinosaur i wish she had like a big bat no one made a big bat yet if you're wondering this is how you just place that hut that house on top of there now it's complete you have the little house connected to the tower and it's let's look around here let's turn in a circle and and this is what it looks like when you have all the characters all the fairy bat characters placed inside the tower if you put them all together maybe if you take this one out then you have this really cool looking awesome ruins and they make it a place in the forest that all your novel more or violet veil vale characters can investigate realize they found some sort of witchcraft tower full of evil witches or evil warlocks or what they are bat fairies it's a little shocking to look from this side because you don't see much of the accessories details and all the cool stuff it's very eye-catching very aesthetic i love it and this is what it looks like when you strip the tower of all it, its accessories that's how it is empty look on the other side that's how the front looks like i detach the rocks there if you look at the middle part that is the ruins from the fantasy night sets from playmobil from the 90s so playmobil took this tower and created new designs and new ideas that connects to it and revives this awesome tower that's where the battery is at right there that's how you exchange the battery and that's how the lights work. Look at that. Look at inside. Here are all the accessories and characters that you get with this set. There are several bats that hang upside down. That's five of them. Two that are flying. Two little molds. And 13 little rocks. Golden feather for the fairy. The wings. A spider. Two bat wings for the bat girl here. A cape. A little hairball. Bat that goes on her belt. Crossbow. Projectiles. Three torches. A shield. Bat emblem on it. Looks like that. The little 
crow, the crow with the open wings over here, the rock that closes the rock, crystal clear chest, two candelabras, and a large crystal, plus of course the two characters, that's all that you get, there's a lot of accessories, and here are all the fairies I reviewed so far, remember that's not all the fairies Playmobil has released, that's just the ones I have reviewed, not many, I'm trying to review them all, but they're kind of expensive, and I'm not really collecting these, so there are several leaf fairies right here, one, two, three bat fairies, two warrior fairies, one crystal fairy over there, and one over here. What's happening to the tree? Yeah, he's hitting the tree, break it. It was weird, didn't Yeah, I know, right? Press the button, turn the light on. Mm -hmm. Do it, yeah. There you go. The tree? It fell off, I know, right? 